Today we're going on a tour of the DMZ or the Demilitarized Zone. My name is Julie Park. Nice to meet you. I'm your tour guide today for DMZ. Because there are multiple tour groups at the DMZ, our tour guide gave us a name badge so that we can easily identify our group and also to contact her in case we get lost. We first got to Imjingok Park where we had to wait for a little bit until the ticket office opened. In the meantime, a lot of us decided to buy some food and I chose to buy these mochi donuts. Julie then walked us around the park and showed us some of the monuments and statues and explained the history behind them. This is the Freedom Bridge where prisoners of the Korean War were able to return home to South Korea. It's not night time, it just you know, fall down and then it bloom again and then fall down and bloom again. Mm -hmm. Every day, new flower. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is uh, the Korean national flower, Mugunghwa. We also had time to walk around and explore the monuments on our own. On the way to the next stop of the tour, the military had to check each of our passports. This river name is Imjingang River, Imjingang, and this bridge name is Unification Bridge. And this bridge uh, is constructed by Hyundai Corporation. Side and left side, all North Korea. You see? At the top of the observatory, there are a lot of these free binoculars that people can use. So here's North Korea. And I don't know if you can see, but there are the two flags off in a distance. So there's a North Korean flag. And there's a South Korean flag. The last stop of the tour was the third tunnel. Unfortunately, we couldn't bring any of our phones, cameras, or bags, and we had to put them in a free locker. While we were in the tunnel, we had to wear hard hats. We walked on a fairly steep incline and it was also pretty cold inside. Afterwards, we had time to shop around at the souvenir store and take some photos. As we headed back into the city, the military had to do one final passport check. We finished pretty early in the afternoon, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to go to the spa. This traditional Korean spa is for women only and has three floors. I got a body scrub and massage and afterwards spent time relaxing in its many saunas of different temperatures. I spent the most time though on the rooftop enjoying fresh air. For an early dinner, I went to this fried chicken place. I got the cheese balls and the sweet honey flavored chicken and both were amazing. While heading over to the Bonpo Bridge, I saw this really cool light display. I tried a new ice cream bar. I saw some kids getting taught how to skateboard. I eventually arrived at the Bonpo Bridge to watch a rainbow fountain show. And I thought, why not treat myself to one final dessert for the evening? This is a croffle, croissant dough that's made into a waffle. 